Meanwhile, there is new information tonight on the shooting involving Miami-Dade Police Director Freddie Ramirez. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement has finished its investigation and is in the process of compiling what their probe revealed. Now, because this was a suicide attempt, we at CBS News Miami will go through the report and decide, based on relevance and sensitivity to the family, what will be shared on air and online. Which brings us to a new release from Hillsborough County where police say Ramirez attempted suicide. The 911 call made just after the shooting has been released. The call came from Director Ramirez's wife who was in the car with him when he shot himself in the head along I-75 the night of July 23rd. Now, we aired an excerpt of that call obtained by our news partners at the Miami Herald this morning on CBS News Miami Morning Edition. And we then obtained the full call through our open records request with the county. My colleagues, CBS News Miami journalists with decades of experience, listened to those calls and after several discussions, we collectively agreed to not re-air his distraught wife's call for help. We did learn some new information from the call, like that the director was fighting off his wife's attempts to help him after the shooting. As a team, we recognize there's interest and developments in this story because it involves Miami-Dade's police director. So we have posted portions of the call on CBSMiami.com. We're posting a condensed version and not airing the 911 call to give you, our viewers, the choice about if you want to hear it. If you or anyone you know is having thoughts of self-harm, there is help available. Just call or text the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988. Trained mental health professionals are available for you 24 hours a day. Again, that number is 988.